Pleasure to meet you. I've never done this before, really. Or rather, fun, eh? Where am I? Who are you? Oh, you... You don't actually know, do you? Oh, this is a pickle. Megan. I may call you Megan. You're... dead. The car? The car. Megan Nolan, born 23rd of November 2000, killed on the 31st of March 2018. Run over by a Ford Fiesta. Squish. Oi, don't talk about it. Relax. Have some tea. You had a boyfriend, I see. Yeah? What about it? Hello! Yes, I'd like to do a loyalty check on a Miss Megan Nolan. Yeah, we've just had one from London. Ah, oh, no, she was hit by a car. No, no, she was, she was looking at her phone. <laughs> yes, you'd think they'd learn. <laughs> Did you find anything? Ooh. Oh dear. Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass on the news. Yes, no, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. I, I love you too, bye. We need to talk. Yeah, I heard. Loyalty check? I didn't cheat on my boyfriend. No, 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 no. That's not actually what I was going to say. Your boyfriend was, in fact, cheating on you. You what? And that's life, I'm afraid. Or rather, death. Sayings do get awfully confusing down here. Down here? We will get to that. Anyway, I thought you ought to know your boyfriend was, in fact, having a fling with your best friend. Lend some perspective on your life. Sharon? Oh, I'm gonna haunt her ass. Official haunting hours are between 22 and 2300 hours every other Sunday. You'll have to get in line. I'm there. So, down here. Yes, I was hoping to avoid that topic. It says in your documents that you were an atheist. Oh shit. Oh shit, indeed. You see, I play badminton with God every Wednesday afternoon, and let me tell you, he can be one spiteful prick. Just ask all the people we had in from that terrible flood. Anyway, the point is that this isn't heaven or paradise or whatever you want to call it. This is, in fact, hell. So I'm here because I'm an atheist. Oh lord, no, that's one of many reasons. Many reasons? <sighs> Indeed. Modern man really should read the Old Testament more often. If only they knew. All right, so this is hell. Doesn't seem so bad. No, I suppose you're expecting lava and brimstone, chains and torture and whatnot. Well, yeah, I suppose so. This all just looks so modern. Yes, well, I hate to disappoint you. To be honest with you, it, it used to be that way, but ever since Margaret Thatcher came in, we've been privatizing the whole place. This is just the admin office. You have admin. Naturally, my dear, this is hell. There was always bound to be a lot of paperwork. Speaking of which, it looks like you're here for eternity. So you'll be wanting to know how you're spending the rest of your existence with us. Whatever it is, I have a nasty feeling I'm not going to enjoy it. That's the idea. Now, are you an account holder with Underworld Limited? You've lost me. No, I thought not. That's okay, we can sort you out with one. Uh, also, it looks like you're eligible for our premium damnation service. Premium? Well, seeing as you are only a venial sinner, we can introduce some perks into your experience with us. How the hell does that work? How the here, as I like to say. I'm already being tortured, aren't I? Steady on, dear. I was about to tell you how you could have the driver who killed you sent here too. Is that part of the premium package? Yes. Yeah, well, that sounds like a whole new level of screwed up. I don't want it. You sure? Sure. Marvellous. Always good to save on expenses. Hello. Yes, it's me again. Yeah, we've got another one with a flaming wheel. Yeah, she's in my office. Lovely. Thank you. Wait, what happens now? Do the words flaming wheel mean nothing to you? Have a nice eternity. What? No! <laughs> Seems a shame to waste. Mm. Pop the kettle on, will you, Heinrich? We'll have another one in in five minutes. 